Hi friends, today we will discuss the answer for question number 19, a question from GS paper 4 ethics. So for ethics generally I would say you have to follow 4 rules to score high marks in ethics. In any ethics answer I would say first thing is you write the theory in your own words. You write the theory in your own words. Don't try to buy out the theory from any website or any book and don't try to reproduce it. Second thing, by the way, if you write the theory in your own language, evaluator would understand that you actually understood the concept. Second thing is use examples. Always write examples in ethics answers. Because though you write the theory, the evaluator may not actually understand what you mean by it. But if you give two or three examples, he will easily understand what do you mean by it. By the way, examples can be from your personal life, personal life or they can be some public examples of an IS officer or Gandhi from history, from current affairs, whatever examples you can give. Third important thing in ethics exam is that you have to use ethics terms. See for ethics terms I would rather say that you just remember the terms given in the syllabus of general studies paper 4 like integrity, honesty, fortitude, temperament, temperance. So you just remember the terms, you understand their meaning Try to use them in the answer as much as possible. This is the third thing in the ethics exam that you have to do. Fourth thing is try to relate the ethics with current affairs or polity or Indian economy. Means don't keep ethics as a very dry subject. Don't just write the ethics theories only. Try to relate to the economy, polity, current affairs etc. to score higher marks. So these are the four tips I would say will help you in scoring more marks in ethics. So let us use this four in question number 19. See how we have to write the answer. The question 19 is, there may be situations in which if you follow the ethical conduct, if you follow ethical conduct, it may cause loss to you in your personal life. There may be such situations where if you follow the ethics, it may affect your personal life. So. Uh, how explain how such dilemma can be resolved in the public administration by giving examples this is the question basically friends this kind of dilemma in the introduction itself in the introduction itself you can say this kind of dilemma is called personal cost ethical dilemma if you know the term you write it otherwise you simply say it is a kind of ethical dilemma ethical dilemma wherein if you follow duty ethics or moral principles or you know if you follow the rules and regulations of your uh, office job your duty it would actually affect your personal life this kind of dilemma is called personal cost ethical dilemma so you write like that in your own language explain your own language then give some examples of any as they're asking you from a public administration public administration you can give that for example if uh, uh, an ips officer finds that his brother is involved in a criminal activity he would have two options one is just warn his brother and leave him because he is his own brother. Second thing is as a police officer following due to ethics file a criminal complaint against him or FIR against him and then follow the law. There are two options available to him. So, but if he follows the law and he follows the ethics then in his personal life he may lose his brother at least in his home. Similarly you can write an IAS example. For example an IAS officer is asked a favor by his best friend who helped him to become IAS officer and after he becomes IAS officer if he finds out that he cannot help his friend as per the law whatever favor his friend asked that cannot be done as per the law so can he reject it because he has a lot of loyalty towards his friend has helped him becoming IAS officer such kind of dilemmas frequently occur in the public administration for example an Indian engineering service officer working in a large contract if he finds out that the contractor is a political leader who is who is you know uh, executing the contract for a lower cost than what government has allocated to him or simply you can say a corruption is going on in the contract so if he goes again as a corruption the political leader who is also a, uh, a, a rowdy a, a local rowdy shooter threatens him his life for example they say that if he reveals about the corruption he would be killed in such a case what can he do can he follow the law can he complain against him or shall he keep quiet so these any one example you can give no need to give all the three 
any one example so that the evaluator will understand that okay the the person who is writing the exam knows what is the meaning of personal cost ethical dilemma now come to the question how can you resolve this issue see the personal uh, cost ethical dilemma can be resolved by adhering or by sticking to the following principles for example one thing is you should be first of all compassionate towards the vulnerable sections an IAS officer whoever it may be any public servant if he is compassionate towards the weaker sections vulnerable people definitely he will keep their well-being the well-being of the weaker sections would be kept above his personal interest in that way he can actually follow the ethical conduct rather than thinking his personal interest second thing is even if he adheres to the utilitarian principle actually utilitarian principle means greater good greater good for greater number of people even if you follow that for doing good to the greater number of people you would not think about the benefit of yourself single person you will not think that that principle can be followed even courage sometimes following the ethical conduct requires courage you can say the example of uh, uh, IPS Narendra Kumar IPS Narendra Kumar Singh who worked again as the uh, mining mafia of Madhya Pradesh actually risked his life to bring the mining mafia to the to the you know to the just uh, um, uh, to punish them to punish them he risked his life similarly that's by the way courage actually you can say instead of courage you can use the word fortitude fortitude means you know uh, moral courage so these people moral courage in the sense it's not how much fearless you are it is how long can you maintain the courage instead of in spite of the threats to your life coming from different sections or coming from powerful people can you still be courageous 42 unyielding moral courage is called 42 similar integrity those uh, office those uh, public servants who stick to integrity who adhere to integrity they follow the ethical principles in any situation anytime so their actions are predictable for example you can see uh, you can write example of uh, Indian Engineering Service Officer Satyendranath Dubey. Satyendranath Dubey, he was working in the Golden Quadrilateral Project where he found the corruption and he escalated the corruption to the highest level, to the Prime Minister's office. He has got threatening calls from the Mafia, from the local, co the, co the powerful contractors, but he still followed the ethical conduct and he also risked his life in that process. So this kind of examples actually shall be thought. Of course, you may be thinking that both examples I gave are extreme examples. In the exam, you no need to always write extreme examples. You can write your, you can write your personal life examples also. So integrity, you have to adhere to that will actually help you in resolving this personal cost ethical dilemma. Other thing is the trust that the government is keeping on you or responsibility the government has given to you in, in uh, you know for which they are paying you the salary. They are paying you salary by giving some responsibility and having some trust on you. So you have to do justice to that. Even when you follow this principle, definitely you will keep the ethical conduct above your personal interest. You can give an example of MVR Satya Narayana. Actually, MVR Satya Narayana was a principal of a school in Andhra Pradesh and he was uh, you know, appointed as one of the squads during the government exams, 10th class exams. So when he was working as a squad, he found his daughter copying. So instead of thinking as a father at the personal level, the government is paying him for, for, for the responsibility of the squad. They trusted him for the role of the squad. So he debarred his own daughter. You can write the example. Similarly, selflessness is one quality that public servants should have if they, if they have resolved this personal cost ethical dilemma. However, you can observe that I am following all the four principles. The first principle, writing definition in your own language. Second principle, giving examples to make it easy for evaluator. Third, third idea that I'm talking about is write ethical terms, ethical terms. Fourth one is relate it with some current affairs or some polity, economy, etc. Finally, in the conclusion, what you can say is every public servant shall have periodic training on the ethical conduct. He shall be motivated constantly throughout the career so that he will always keep the public duty, the ethical conduct above the personal interest. So periodic training is very important for public servants. So in this way, you can end this answer. Now coming to the 20th question for tomorrow. For tomorrow, uh, it is from General Studies Paper 1 on Indian history, Indian history, medieval history. So it's about the Chola architecture. I would suggest you that when the question is about temples or architecture, 
it's better you draw diagrams draw diagrams so write the answer tomorrow we'll discuss the uh, answer for this one see you friends bye